Alhamdulillah wasil jawd wal ihsan wal mutafaddil ala sa'imin bi afu wa gufran wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad khairun khairun min salla wa sam wa qama lillahi haqq al qiyam wa ala alihi wa sahbihi al bararatu al kiram Continue on in our series about the fiqh of Siyam and benefits of Siyam as we're ever approaching towards the holy month of Ramadan. That what happens if we forget with regards to uh, eating and drinking? And even some of the scholars mention with uh, with regards to having relations, meaning if you have relations with your spouse and you you actually forgot, does that break your fast or not? Some of the ulama say it doesn't break your fast, but this is not the place to go into that mas'ala in depth right now. We're just going to talk a little bit more general and give some of the general dalil for forgetfulness. Also, we have to be uh, mindful of for example, with regards to uh, a woman's menstruation and um, nifas or the after birth uh, ble ble uh, bleeding, that in this situation, a woman, uh, even if she forgets, she still cannot fast. She still cannot fast, even if she, and if she, she fasted. It will not be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. And some of the evidences with regards to forgetfulness being an excuse with regards to eating and drinking or um, you know, uh, doing hijama you know, forgetting and doing hijama and so forth, meaning um, cupping. Some of the evidences for this is in the ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabi al kareem Rabbana la tu'akhidna in nasina o akhtatna. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Baqarah, Qala subhana, <coughs> O our Lord, do not hold us accountable for what we. Uh, have forgotten or what we have done out of uh, mistakenly. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al kareem, Wa laysa alaykum junahun fi ma akhtatum bi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Ahzab, He subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And it is not, uh, you are not to blame for what you have done out of, done as a mistake. And this shows us the mercy and the rahmah of our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because look at how we are so unforgiving of one another. If a person makes a mistake, uh, a slight mistake in something they, they said or pronounced or something, we are quick not just to correct them. Correcting is important, imperative. But to blame them. We're quick to blame. And we are very slow to forgive if we do it all. May Allah forgive us and help us to be better towards one another. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And then the hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu ana nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallama anahu qal man nasiya wa huwa sa'im fa akalu o shurb fa liyatim sawmuhu fa innama at'amuhu Allah wa saqahu mutafiqun alayhi in this hadith in Bukhari and Muslim, the hadith narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever uh, is fasting forgets that he's fasting. And then he eats or he drinks. Then he should complete his fasting. For verily Allah has uh, provided him, Allah has fed him, and given him drink. And this is related in Bukhari and Muslim. 
So in the case if someone forgets, we have a direct nas here, a direct text from the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that if we forget, we eat and drink out of forgetfulness, then you can continue fasting. But what's imperative here is that as they say that this uh, that a person must immediately once they recall immediately fulfill this command meaning immediately stop eating once you realize you're eating you're drinking something you're eating something as soon as you realize put it down get rid of it do not continue and then say well you know I'm forgiven I forgot let me take one more bite what have you no absolutely not and you uh, fulfill that commandment immediately for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to continue uh, fulfilling this great deed uh, of taqwa Allah wa jal. Another important aspect about forgetfulness ahabitifillah is maybe one of our brothers and sisters in Islam have forgotten and you might see them smoking a cigarette, you might see them eating and drinking. So remind them. Remind them. And this is from ta'awun ala bir wa taqwa. This is from cooperation with regards to righteousness and piety and that's what we want to do as Muslims and as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is assist one another another thing which we should be aware of Allah, is that with regards to uh, breaking our fast is being cautious when making wudu that we should as we should not uh, make a wudu so extensive that water when we are uh, washing our mouth out and we are washing our nose that the water does not go down into our, our throat so we have to be very cautious of this and this is why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said as narrated in Abu Dawood, Wa Nisa'i, Wa Ibn Khuzayma Fi Sahihi that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Asbaq al-Wudu Wa khalil al-Bayna asabi' Wa balag fi istinshaq Illa an tukun sa'im The Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam was informing his companions Radhi Allah Ta'ala Anu Majma'een of the complete wudu, of how to make wudu very complete, uh, uh, you know, a very, a perfect wudu. So the Prophet والسلام, said, uh, be thorough in your wudu and uh, wash between your fingers, wash between your fingers and be excessive in istinshaq. Istinshaq is when you uh, uh, take water in your palm or you, you take water and you clean your nose. So you, that's istinshaq. And so uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, and be thorough in istinshaq, you know, clean that nose out. Except if you are fasting. So the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, illa an takun sign. Unless you are fasting. So letting us know the istithna here, the exception is that when you're fasting, you should not be uh, excessive in taking the water in your nose. Clean your nose, but don't be excessive to the extent that water is going to go down into your throat and therefore possibly even go into your stomach and break your uh, wudu. So we have to be very cautious about this. Ahabatifillah. And we ask that Allah, the Almighty, blesses us to see the holy month of Ramadan and that we are careful in our fasting. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilm nafi, rasqan tayyib, wa amalan mutaqabbilan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.